Tara. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Terra as our Kastanic Gunner. Let's go ahead and just pick up right where we left off. We need to go find, what's his name, Padraig? Padraig? This should be over this way, I do believe. We are at the Murakai Ruins now, just continuing on with our storyline. This area of the world, or at least that I've been at, seems to be like the most spread out, in my opinion. It feels like you just have to spend quite a bit of time just writing, <laughs> just writing to get there. So it takes a little while, but at the same time, I really like all the golden hues. It's kind of pretty. At least that's pretty, right? Makes it worth appreciating being able to spend some time just looking at it. The ruins here are quite cool though. I do like how the environment is made in this game. I think it is one of its strong points for sure. Okay, he should be over here if I remember correctly. There he is. Alright, let's talk to Pedrig. Glad you could be. Hey, they're up th up to something, but I'm not sure what. They've got some papers, but they're all encoded, and they're divided into parts. If you could put some together... Oh, er, sorry. If you could put together a whole document, I might be able to make sense of it. The Lokian sorcerers are your best bet for finding a complete copy of the pages. I think I can help. Alright, so we need to go get some cryptographs by killing sorcerers. Not the blood guard. The sorcerers appear to be further up here. There they are. Alright, let's take out this guy. Spoosh. Let's roll forward. Boop. Alright, one down. Scattershot. Looks like we also got some relic ruins, so that's good. There we go. Done. Ooh, and we got some Alkahest too. That's good. Because we needed a little bit more to be able to fully enchant our armor. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that real quick. Can we do it yet? Okay. We're at plus eight. Let's see if we can do it all the way. Sweet! Our armor is officially fully enchanted. Are these enchantable? Nah, that's okay. That is okay. Alright, on to the next thing. roll to this. Oh, I meant to go to the side, but that's okay. From behind. There we go. Sweet. Alright, three out of five. Let's do this guy next. Use our arc bomb. Maybe another scatter shot. Light that guy. There we go. Four out of five. Look, oh, we got some company right here. Oh, <laughs> kind of attacked the wrong guy. That's okay. Let's switch to our machine gun. Oh, oh, what a sneaky guy! There we go. Arc bomb. There we go. Man, he was a little bit sneaky right there. And we need to kill one more of these guys for that. Vanguard request, so let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Take some gold, thank you. Let's get our reward. Perfect. Alright. Let's go talk to Padraig again. I believe he's right over here. Glad you could be. Blast it all. The documents are fine, but they're in code. I've seen the Lokian berserkers reading the cryptographs, so they have to have some way of decoding it. Find a berserker and see if it has something we can use to decipher the text. We must learn what they're up to. I'll see to it. Let's go find out. We can find some sort of decoder. De decryption device. How about you? You look fancy. You have a special name, though. I, I think maybe I'm not supposed to be fighting you at the moment. I got a person behind us. Hi! Ouch. Hi, Mom. There we go. Yeah, he was not the person we were supposed to fight, apparently. <laughs> not yet, at least. Arc Bomb. 
scatter shot. Let's roll out of the way. Oh, I didn't roll out fast enough. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Getting a little bit overwhelmed here. Here we go. Take care of this guy. Let's switch to our machine gun. Oh, I did it wrong! I hit the wrong button, dang it! Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Now we can grab this stuff. Did we get it? We did get it. Okay, so we need to decrypt the message and bring it back to him. Let's do that. So where is the message? Where's the message? Is this it? Ah yes, decryption device. Well done! We did it! That was easy. Let's go ahead and turn this into feed stock real quick. Boop, bada, boop. Alright, there we go. Sort. Done. Okay, let's return to him. Give it to him. We got the message! We figured it out! You need help, kid? Do you have everything? All the cryptographer cryptographs and a decryption device? We can learn nothing without them. Did you decrypt the messages? Yes, I did. Come on, I want to see the entire decrypted message. Wait, for what? Uh, apparently I didn't do it right. Oh, okay, there's five of them. The so we have to do this five times? Is that what I'm Get seeing? Together, work together. Okay, two. Three. Four. All right, so now we've done it five times. That flaming Naga Sport Tez Tezuar, he's behind this. He's looking for some fountain. Looks like Akasha was after it once upon a time. They don't have a clue where it is right now, and with a little help from you, they'll never find it. Kill Tezuar and deal these scions fools a real setback. All right, I guess I'll go kill him. So that's the guy that we accidentally killed before. <laughs> so let's go kill him again. Since he respawns. Multiple lives, lucky lad. Hello, sir. I'm supposed to fight you. Arc bomb. This is supposed to be a little mini boss battle. There we go. Done. Okay, who are we reporting to? Okay, back to him. Back to him. You around here? Well done, my friend. Hurry back to Matin and deliver the good news. Understood. All right, let's do it. Head back over there. There's not a lot of things to gather here. I guess there's a little bit of ore here and there, but overall, a little bit more barren. There are other side quests that we're kind of just skipping along because we are higher level than we need to be for this area. Oops. But like I said, like you can do all of the quests, but you're going to be overleveled if you do. It's kind of interesting that they changed it to be even more that way. I don't know, they keep making it where it's faster and faster. Which is, it's nice if you're wanting to like get to the same max level, if that's all you're, the point of what you're doing. But if you're wanting to like have fun with friends doing quests and stuff, I feel like it's more rewarding when you really have to work for it, when the levels don't come quite so easily. Kind of making it too easy in my opinion. Alright, let's head back over here. Oh, stuck on the hill. Stuck on the hill. Excuse me! Excuse me, Mr. Goats! Should be this one over here. That is a pretty cool structure, huh? Pretty cool little town. All right, let's talk to Matten. Consider the core. The signs of Locke appear to be sore losers. They're messing for an attack. Our shield can repel them if we can get it raised in time. Keep our foes at bay until the defenses are active. I can help. A noble presence. Okay, speak with him and teleport. This is going to be a little instance quest that Spend we have to do. All right, so let's protect the forecourt. Ready. 
I am ready. Okay, let's talk to him. Spend <laughs> He's speaking robot again. Would advice be well? I guess that means we're ready. <laughs> deeply on it. <laughs> oh no! They're coming to attack. Let's do this. Take a picture. <laughs> it's party. All right. Oh, here they come. Yeah, these are just little guys. Looks like there's more. There's more of them coming this way. Now there, you see the timer here, which kind of shows you how long you have to hold them off. There's another one over here. At least on the mini map, there is. And this one. Maybe the other one's a glitch. Where's this guy? There he is. Just a bunch of little guys, currently. Where's this other guy? Is he like stuck on the tree or something? Oh, there he goes. He disappeared. Oh no! Such chaos! I like your robes. Ooh, look at him. That looks pretty cool. Oh, there they are. I see more. Okay, looks like we're getting a couple little groups of them now. Oh no, more over here? Is there any over here? No, looks like it's pretty much just over here. These guys. <laughs> it's just a bunch of the little guys currently. There's becoming quite a few of them though. Uh oh. I missed a few. Oh, there's quite a few over here too. What do you know? We're failing! Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. These are arc bomb. Okay. Man, there's a lot of them now. You know what it feels like it's time for. This is a little bit of a waste, but... <laughs> Uh-oh. Little goober. It is nice because the NPCs will actually help you too. Alright, we got a minute and a half left. It's not too bad. I don't see the next waves coming yet. There they are. Looks like they're coming from both sides, too. Okay, take out those ones. <laughs> this little guy. Excuse you. Oh, look, some big boys. They go with the single hit, though. They're not too much of a threat. like we did all right. Okay, 48 seconds left. Got that one. Got those two. Another one here. Boop. Little pests just popping up all over the place, aren't they? Right, this should be, I would assume, the last wave. Hello, little friends. Ah, oh, I missed one. There we 
we go. Another wave here. Boop. Okay, I got all of those ones. That's nice. Ooh. Lots of you guys over here. Got those. Better shot. Boop. There we go. And I think we're done. That's it. What a noble presence. <laughs> Well said, sir. Well said. Courage and skill protected the secrets that knowledge and knowledge we've uncovered. For that, we are very grateful. The Celestial Hills has many secrets. Some we are not yet ready to discover, and others perhaps we were never meant to know. Together, we've kept them safe. Go with our thanks. It was an honor. Reading is difficult today. Okay, I, we should have a way to teleport out of here. Oh, there it is. Exit teleportal. Perfect! Alright, let's go to Sanctum Mysterium. Perfect! Alright, let's see what his next thing is. Take this to Dagal and Velika. Tell him I sent you. Please hurry. Alright, so we are ready to head back to Velika. Perfect! Let's see, it's quite a ride to get back to Lumbertown, so maybe we have... We have a Crescentia scroll. Let's go ahead and use that. Might as well. I don't think we have anything else to do here. I think we are ready to go to Velika again. Alright, let's go to the flight manager. Though, so, since this is really close here, let's go ahead and go to the bank first. Banker! Store some stuff. Uh, what do we want to store? Let's store all of our crafting materials. Let's store I these. Wait, what was this? I like that. Patents report. Okay, we need that for the quest, actually. <laughs> store those. That. That should be good. And then we can actually sell these crystals before we go to. Oops. And to sell those. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, let's go ahead and sell these gloves, too. Perfect. Alright. Let's go to the flight manager, which is over here. Fly back to Velika. We haven't been there in quite some time. And it should carry us on to the next section. Next segment. You need anything from me? Yes, I need a flight to Velika. Here we go. And now we just get to sit back and enjoy the view. <laughs> you should be fully prepared to climb a mountain. <laughs> Great to know. So pretty. I wish when you zoomed in, for some reason, when you zoom in, like it works this way, but if you try and tilt it, it's like above your character. I'm not really sure why that is. Through the portal! So pretty. I think this was a really creative way to have a loading screen, that's for sure. Much more interesting. I do wish they had mounts that you could just fly open world. Um, my hope is that maybe someday they'll add that. I don't know if this game can really support that because there's so many other things going on, but I would really like it if they could add that someday. Good old Velika. But at least they do have just normal mounts, even if they are just land mounts. All of the guild castles. I like the idea of them, but I don't really care for like the logos floating around. I don't know, that's one thing about this game. I love this game. I love the interaction, I love the battle, I love the graphics. But the one thing that I think detracts from it is there are a lot of kind of gimmicky things. Like things that are not, don't fit within 
this world. For example, people driving in little police cars or wearing modern clothing that we wear today in normal life. Or, and another example of that is like all of the floating logos, you know? <laughs> Just things that I don't really think are necessary. And it kind of detracts from being really immersed into the storyline. Maybe that's just me, but this is pretty grandeur right here. Pretty glorious. Glorious! So beautiful! Especially when there's gray people and Christmas trees. <laughs> but the architecture of this place is really cool. Oh hey, I did an action when I did that. That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and use our wolf. Our wolf. Need to go back to Commander Samael. Uh, let's check and see how much is it to expand our inventory. 80 gold. How much do we have? We have 101. We could actually do that. Uh, do we want to spend our gold on that? I think we want to wait because. My thought is that pretty soon we'll go ahead and do some crafting. And crafting can get kind of expensive because you have to buy these different kits and stuff like that to be able to do things. So we may wait on that. Alright, let's go in here. Let's talk to Degal first. What can I tell you? It's rare to see such glowing words written in Matten's hand. You are you certainly impressed him, Anae. Deliver this little epistle to Samael. He's as hard to win over as Matten, but if anything can do it, this report can. Well done, Ine. This is exactly the kind of action we need from our soldiers right now. Yes, sir. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Samael, Mr. Hard to Get. Difficult to please. Looks kind of creepy. Alright, let's talk to him. Hmm. We're keeping it quiet, but Paporia is in trouble, and Council Dugal ordered me to have someone investigate. Head to Papolion and investigate the source of this disturbance, but take no chances. Whatever the problem, it mustn't be spread to Val Arim or other provinces. Do you understand me? If stopping this threat means burning Papolion to the ground, then that's what you do. Wow. Wow. It's pretty intense. Focus on duty, not ambition. Hmm, well this is quite a report. I guess you're not the keener I expected. I underestimated you. I promise I won't do that in the future. We need more soldiers, more than just soldiers. We need leaders. Dagal thinks you're ready for a commission. I'm hardly going to argue against it, not after deeds such as these. Come, it's not every day you get to be a hero. Let's give him our report. Ooh, he has a reward. Receive his reward in Velika? Is that over here? Oh, weird. He's like, he's in two places at once. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's head over that way. Now we are already level 26, and this quest line is just 24, so we'll go with whichever one is the higher level area. I think we can do both, though. I think we can continue with both parts. I have to wind up being a little bit choosy, I think, because of the way they have it set up. Okay. Is that him? Lo and behold, it's him! And hey, what took you so long? Let's start the ceremony. The ceremony! Alright. Oh, Dalgis. Yeah, buddy. You've saved countless lives, military and civilian, and exposed a conspiracy that threatened the entire Federation. You've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Yeah, I have. So on behalf of the Federation, <laughs> the gift box. I hereby promote you to Centurion. Oh, I'm a Centurion! Soldier, and bring us victory for Valkyon. Woo! That's right. Centurion! Sweet. Let's talk to him one more time. Now, as an officer, you should learn how to use glyphs. Glyphs have different powers according to the classes. Glyphs will grant additional power to your skills. Yeah, I know that. I know that. 
Sweet, it looks like we actually finished that. And we got something in the parcel post. Let's check our parcel post. Okay, we got our login rewards. Achievement reward! Ooh, a new necklace. We completed that quest line. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. I've never noticed that before. Okay, let's see. Is it a good necklace? It is. Yes, please. And we got some new boots. Hopefully they're good. Oh, they are good. Ooh, and they're golden. <laughs> golden booties! Poet would be so proud. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm actually going to end this episode here. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I think I'm going to, in the next episode, go ahead and start explaining how crafting works while we're here in Bellica. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.